Hello and welcome to another update video about FET, Fetch AI. We are still moving in corrective patterns. Surprise, surprise. So unfortunately, there is nothing really new um, or anything that is groundbreaking here. Uh, I have made, however, a slight adjustment to the chart based on the latest price action because um, due to the, you know, the extension here to the, to the right, you know, this movement from the 13th of April, where the swing low was formed, 13th, 14th of April, this sideways range, um, it looks as if, uh, it looks too, let's say too massive for a fourth wave. I did have it labeled as a fourth wave with one more low to come in wave five before. Um, I have now relabeled this as a WXY structure and then the Y wave is an A, B, C. And that's sort of what's unfolding right now. It's possible to label that in different ways. It is a correction and unfortunately um, no sign that the correction is over. So we might eventually get to that $1.57 level um, that we talked about before because so far it has missed that 38.2 retracement. That's actually normally the ideal target for a fourth wave. So, so far, I mean, we did nearly get there, right? The price did get down to $1.62. Um, but failed to get down to 157. So it came very close essentially. So what I want to communicate here is that we really haven't got any evidence that a low is in. It's possible. It takes, however, a break above this swing high, which formed end of April. I think it was around the 24th of April to suggest really that the yellow scenario has taken the lead. Yellow is the direct bullish breakout count currently labeled as alternative, but we have come down deep enough into the support area to be completed for this correction to be completed. It just isn't very evident yet because the last rally was in three waves. And I would say if you want to follow that scenario, it is um, it has to be mentioned that the invalidation point is the 1st of May low and that is at $1.86. So that's the invalidation point. And it would take the price up to around about $5. Yeah, this five wave move in yellow. But it's not confirmed yet that we've actually started it and it takes really that break above that um, $2.64 level here to indicate it's taking the lead while holding $1.86, so very clear conditions. And as long as we don't break above that 24th of April high, the white count could easily lead to one more low. If that happens, the area about uh, around $1.57 should be observed. And then also $1.27. As long as the $1.27 low is or support level is holding, the overall bullish thesis is valid. But at the moment, you can see we only have corrective price action, overlapping price action, um, and it makes one more low very, very likely at the moment. Okay, But that doesn't mean we need to break down completely. It means yeah, we might just form one more low in this orange support region before another reversal attempt is made. So we continue to, you know, our patience continues to be tested, and it is very boring. I know that. Please also consider, and that's what I'm tracking more or less actively on some altcoin charts is that a B wave can be a triangle. I mean, if we are forming lower lows and lower highs, it's possible that some kind of an Elliott wave triangle is forming here. A B wave can be a triangle, but it's nothing that I actively promote or track, you know, in the, you know, as main focus because these triangles tend to morph into something different. But if it is an Elliott wave triangle, then we need one more higher low and one more lower high, and then it could be completed. And then from here, we could see that move to the downside. That's only an idea. Uh, it can always break down earlier or morph. You know, that's basically what corrective structures do. They love to morph and transform and take, you know, change their shapes. But looks like an Elliott wave triangle, which could be that B wave. I mean, I guess, you know, if if we see a break to the upside, everybody will be happy, right? I mean, it's like uh, we just wanted to do anything, <laughs> something, 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 not just sideways uh, movement because it's extremely boring. But yeah, move to the upside would be ideal. But probably the way this is going, not after we have seen one more low, if we have to at least consider the likelihood of one more low. And um, if that happens, then the $1.57 level is 
next support. That's my update about FET. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.